Hello, my name is Josh Berlin, Product Marketing Manager for Intersol Space Products. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the most critical aspects of a given satellite system design, and that is temperature monitoring or temperature sensing. There are a couple ways to implement temperature sensing today. One is a device called the 8590. It's a two-pin temperature sensor. Also, thermistors or RTDs are commonly used as well. When a user has used this device called the 8590, there is a lot of concern because of the radiation performance that it will not perform as needed over the total mission life. As you can see, the performance is off by as much as 10 degrees C of accuracy error, just over 25 kilorads of low dose rate. Oftentimes, this level of total dose is not acceptable enough for most mission lives. Also, you can see the performance of high dose rate. Though not as bad, it still degrades pretty good up to 100 kilorads of total dose. So in some cases, it may get to the point, if it's a very long mission, where they actually have to shut down that part of the circuitry to make sure, A, it does not interfere with another part of the satellite, or B, they just don't care anymore about what that particular part uh, of the satellite is providing them. With the new Intersil ISL71590 SEH, you now have a simple solution that is radiation assured over low dose rate and high dose rate. Right away at low dose rate, you will notice the linearity or the graceful degradation of the performance of this device over a wide range of low and high dose rate exposure. For this device, we guarantee our solution, wafer by wafer, up to 50 KRADs of total dose. Again, you can see there that the performance is within one degree C of accuracy out to 50 KRADs of total dose. Furthermore, we took this device and we exposed it to 150 kilorads. You can see it still has a nice graceful degradation. We took our solution out to 300 kilorads of total dose and we're within one degree C of accuracy. Again, just showing the superior performance of our solution. So with the ease of use of implementing this two-pin device that does not need external components to make the device linear over temperature and the assurance that our specifications and our manufacturing capability provides, you'll have a device that you can count on for whether it's a mission that is one year or say 15 years long. I encourage you to go to Intersil's website and more specifically www.intersil.com slash ISL71590SEH for more information such as a comprehensive data sheet with typical curves and radiation curves, a single event report, total dose report, and evaluation board.